There's a story in the Bible about a man who was a quadriplegic. His friends thought if we get him to Jesus, maybe the Lord would heal him. So they brought their friend and set him before Jesus. And the Lord looked at him and said, be of good courage. Your sins are forgiven you. I wonder if the guy thought, well, I'm glad you forgave my sins, but I was kind of hoping to be able to get up on my feet and walk again. And actually a little argument broke out between the religious leaders. And they said, who can forgive sins but God alone? Jesus says, I know what you guys are saying. Who can forgive sins but God alone? But so you will see that the Son of Man has power to forgive sins. I say to this man, rise up and walk. But before that, he said, be of good courage. So what happened here is the forgiveness of God gave this man courage. It's true for us as well, because we can be crippled by our sin, disabled by our shortcomings, where we're unable to live, unable to function. We think, I failed, I've sinned. God could never speak to me again. God could never use me again. But listen, you can be forgiven. The Bible tells us that the tribulation saints that died for their faith overcame the devil by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony, and they did not love their lives until the death. And so the point is that when you know you're forgiven, it gives you courage, courage to serve the Lord, courage to follow the Lord, courage to speak up for the Lord. So maybe I'm talking to somebody that needs to be reminded that if you will confess your sin, he is faithful and just to forgive you your sin and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Something to think about.